Hey, Rob Pink is here, and I've got something cool from Premier Body Armor. This is a 3A panel designed, you notice it's pretty narrow, it's designed specifically to fit into this true spec t-shirt uh, that has two panels, a front and a back panel. As you can see, it's all brand new. This is a brand new release from Premier Body Armor. Now, I've used their uh, soft body panels inside of my carry-on backpack now probably going on a couple of years I've done a bunch of tests on them at personal defense network you can check that out um, these panels are in a response to the larger panels that are wider that are less concealable um, there aren't as many places that they fit these again fit specifically into this true spec t-shirt i've already got one panel installed it's going to show you really quick here what's going on with this one i'm going to install that one hopefully pretty simply and easily here on the video now i get like the whole civilian body armor is it overkill is it worth it is it important is it not um, i don't think it's the kind of thing that most people are going to wear every day but if i were inclined to go take part in a peaceful protest this might be exactly the kind of thing that i were wearing underneath of my t-shirt or my button-up or whatever i'm about to jump in the truck and drive from st augustine florida my eastern headquarters out to the western headquarters i'll make a couple stops along the way but i'm going to spend a couple days on the road going to pick up uh, toddler pincus for a couple weeks to hang out with her here in the early part of the summer going to bring her back down to florida what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this on and i'm going to wear it the entire trip so i'm going to wear it all the way out there you know i'm a big fan of comfort being an important part of all of our defensive tools that's why i use the frog po pro ankle kit that's why i use the crossbreed holster appendix carry rig because it's comfortable i can sit in the truck and drive 12 14 hours a day i can stand up i can sit in a classroom i can do video conferences i can teach i can move i like comfort comfort's important otherwise it's not going to be part of your everyday life you don't need to make terrible compromises to be able to be safe and be prepared and these panels narrow panels that are level 3a inside of what i expect is going to be a comfortable shirt that holds the weight well and keeps the panels placed front and back where they're supposed to be that's too cool so let me put these on and then i'm gonna jump in the truck and i'm gonna keep you posted on how it feels all right so there we go so the panels are on t-shirts on you see i got it tucked in behind my carry firearm today i'm gonna go ahead and put this on over it now it is hot and humid incredibly hot and humid down here in florida uh, but you know, so be it. I'm going out to where it's much drier and much more comfortable. Um, but again, we, we do have to trade, you know, some convenience and some comfort to be as prepared as possible when it comes to concealed carry, when it comes to carrying a medical kit around. And if you want to wear soft body armor, well, there's going to be some weight and some heat, some price to pay there. So I'm pretty sure that no one would have any idea that I were wearing soft body armor under this shirt. Feels pretty comfortable. Obviously, it was a, it's a modern t-shirt from TruSpec as far as breathability and all that goes. Um, it is reinforced, so it's not just hanging on the weight of a t-shirt. There is a, a built-in support system for the armor. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna jump in the truck and I'll check in with you along the way. Colorado bound. All right, so it's about five hours since I uh, first did that first video, a little intro like, hey, here's what I'm gonna do and put this shirt on. I am uh, sitting in the vehicle where I've pretty much been for that entire five hours, got out to fuel up once, uh, went into the convenience store, used the restroom, bought a beverage, and uh, no one pointed at me and said, ah, he's wearing body armor. I don't think anybody would have known even if they'd looked really closely. The only thing I can tell you that lets me kind of mentally be aware that I've been wearing body armor for the last, uh, whatever it's been, five hours, is if you've never worn body armor while you're in a vehicle, like in a law enforcement capacity or whatever, you, you don't feel the seatbelt pressure. Um, so, you know, it's just been a couple times where I was like, oh, my, oh yeah, my seatbelt is on actually. Um, other than that, uh, no, no difference in uh, wearing this shirt versus wearing, uh, you know, any other regular old kind of undershirt. Uh, beneath a button-up so so far the premier body armor uh, 3a panels front and rear inside of the true spec t-shirt Pretty easy. All right today I'm in Nashville. I'm hanging out with my granddaughter as you can see we're about to go get some food uh, I am wearing just a t-shirt today with the true spec uh, t-shirt underneath with the premier body armor I'm carrying obviously uh, Normally with a t-shirt untucked I can carry just fine. I think that's sort of the balance right is can I wear the soft body armor panels while I'm carrying and both the gun and the panels be concealed. With a t-shirt, with this particular t-shirt, the way it's cut, the way it fits me, I think it does print a little bit, the pad, uh, but you know, let's see what happens. We'll see if I think anybody notices or not while we're out and about today. All right, so it is uh, coming up on 6.30 Central Time. I've uh, been about four to five hours in the truck today. Um, again, you know, super comfortable, no big deal. Under a t-shirt, 
the concealability, if you will. Um, it's kind of like, you know, when I wear a t-shirt and I'm carrying appendix, if I'm not carrying a very short gripped gun, like a 43 or an XDS uh, or a, a PD-8, I'm carrying something that has any kind of length to it, a Glock 19, Glock 23, something like that, mid-size gun, I don't even bother trying to carry a full-size gun. I know the grip is, is printing under the t-shirt, um, but probably nobody else really notices, right? It's that kind of a deal. Uh, I imagine it's about the same with this shirt, as long as I am actually using these little corners here that tuck in the bottom of the panel. If I'm not using the little panel there tucked in, it pokes out, and when it pokes out, I'm sure it's printing much more. So uh, that's kind of the lesson for today uh, when wearing it under a t-shirt. If I really wanted this to be concealed, I personally, with my build, uh, rather, you know, on the more on the scrawny side, I'm not gonna wear this with just a t-shirt. Um, that lesson was learned today, but comfortable, day two, complete. All right, I am just about back to Denver. It is just about 48 hours since I started this uh, video, since you saw me uh, in the yard there, getting ready to jump into the truck in St. Augustine, Florida. Uh, let me recap what's been going on. So I, I jumped in a truck, drove up uh, just south of Atlanta, was hanging out with uh, Eric Lamford. You might know him as uh, Iraq Vet 8888. He's uh, a Iraq veteran. He's uh, obviously very popular on YouTube and all that. He's a friend of mine, friends for years. Uh, hung out with him, did a little shooting, a lot of chatting. I had dinner with him and his wife. That was awesome. Uh, got back in the truck, carried on to my daughter's in Nashville, spent the night there. Uh, hung out with my granddaughter the next day. We went out to a restaurant, played around outside for a little while. She's showing off her bike riding skills and like that. Then I got back in the vehicle uh, yesterday afternoon and drove to St. Louis, Missouri, where I had dinner with uh, Kevin Dixie of No Other Choice Training. Uh, great guy, another great Second Amendment advocate and instructor in his own right. And then I got back in the vehicle, uh, drove for a few hours, got a little sleep. And this morning, I am just got up and finished up the drive through uh, Western Missouri and all the way across Kansas. Like I said, now I am back in Colorado. Now, the test here is wearing this for two or three days. Um, this is the Premier Body Armor Level 3A front and back panels inside of the True Spec uh, T-shirt base layer. And really just testing how functional it is and how really low profile it is. Now, as a concealed carry person, what I'm interested in is can I carry the armor, can I wear the armor wearing the same clothes that I would carry a gun with. So obviously I've been carrying a gun the whole time, appendix carry inside the waistband the whole time. And I've done a few different outfits. I've done uh, you know, a couple different pairs of pants, but more importantly on the top, I've worn a t-shirt. I've worn this pullover. It's an Under Armour pullover. It's not a, a really you know forgiving uh, hoodie, so to speak, but it is a pullover. Uh, it's relatively loose that I would normally wear uh, over a t-shirt anyway. And then I've worn uh, two different button up shirts. With the button-up shirts, absolutely no problem. Now, obviously, I wasn't gonna wear anything I couldn't conceal the handgun in anyway. With the button-up shirts, carrying the handgun, no big deal, flashlight, spare mag in the back pocket, all of that, and I don't think there's any way anybody would have known that I was wearing the, the armor at the same time. With the T-shirt, I don't think that was the case. With the T-shirt, it did uh, print a little bit, so to speak, and especially if I were to like, stretch and move, um, it, you know, probably not lean backwards, but leaning forwards, pick something up off the ground, something like that. I'm sure that the back, especially the tops of the plates, I'll talk about that in a second, the tops of the, the, the armor panels would have shown. Uh, with this shirt, not nearly as much. I'm not nearly as conscious of the fact that I'm wearing it. If I were to like arch back, I'm sure you can see the edge there. Um, you can see a little bit of printing there from those edges. But again, um, same thing would probably happen with the gun. If I were to arch back, I'd probably reveal the gun. So that's really the test. Does this show when a gun wouldn't show, right? That's what I think would keep people from wearing it. Again, if you choose to wear soft body armor, probably not something you're gonna do every day, probably not something I would normally be doing driving around, but especially with all the civil unrest and everything else that's going on, if, if you were going to you know, spend the night in your business because you were worried about looters or rioters, this might be a good option to sleep in. It's certainly way more comfortable than something like a, a heavy armor plate. Um, I have some heavy plates back there, but it's gonna pull up, but I'm driving, I'm not gonna bother. Um, so the, the verdict here is uh, absolutely comfortable, absolutely concealable, um, not as concealable as a subcompact single stack 9mm carried in the appendix position for me with my build, um, but I'm pretty impressed. Um, again, 3A, you know, 3 7 Magnum uh, rated uh, 44 
magnum uh, semi-jacketed soft points, hollow points, things like that. Um, it's, it's a fair amount of armor to wear from a concealed carry. You're not going to war. You're not going into battle. You're not kicking doors in. You're not, you don't have the flashy red and blue lights and the shiny badge on, that kind of thing. You're not making yourself a target. Um, I think this is a great viable option. Of course, remember these panels, while they're made to go inside of this shirt um, and they're wearable, you could also put these in a backpack or a carry-on or something like that um, as well. So they, they're multi-purpose and, and different uses here. The whole package, less than $250. That's another cool thing. So the panels you can get for under $200, and then the shirts and other whatever it is, you know, 40, 50 bucks. So under $250 for the whole setup, I think it's a good deal and uh, definitely functional, definitely concealable, definitely wearable. Good job uh, to Premier Body Armor, not, not surprised, and True Spec as well for the shirt. Uh, my only criticism, I guess, would be there's some great little corners that hold the bottom of the panels in. They really should be doing exactly the same thing at the top to hold the corners of the panel back um, to form fit your body better and or a top flap because when you take the shirt off, you think about it, you normally have a t-shirt upside down and you, you put it on. As you put it on, the panels will pop up out of that, uh, that top area. So I'm probably just going to throw some duct tape or maybe some Velcro or something there myself um, if I were going to be using this a lot. Uh, but, but obviously, true spec, maybe in Gen 2, find a way to, to capture the panels at the top as well as you've captured them at the bottom because the reinforcement around the edges and the bottom is really well done. All right, so it's been maybe like two hours since I checked in after the five hours and pretty much all I've been doing is, is eating the amazing delicious food at an undisclosed location with good friends who cook really well. <laughs> the armor's still comfortable though, although my belly's full.